Hey everybody, it's me, Lila. Uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and whatnot. I am currently filming today. It is Christmas, and I am using my new mic, so you don't have that pesky white noise anymore, which has been bugging me for like the longest time. I am super, super stuffed up. I've had strep, and I am gross, and I was supposed to film a cover of Hallelujah, but I am super gross, and I don't know if I can do that. I will try, though. Um, so... Anywho, in the spirit of Christmas, this video is about the time I got panty raided at a Boy Scout camp. I guess you're gonna miss the panty raid. So yeah, um, I went to a Boy Scout camp, one of the high adventure bases, and my underwear got stolen. Basically, I was at this thing called Venture Fest because I am a Venture Scout, which is a part of the Boy Scouts of America, and I went with my crew and we went to Venturing Fest, which was where a whole bunch of Venturers from all over the world, it wasn't just Venturers though, there were also some Sea Scouts there, which are a lot like Venturing in that it's like co-ed, but, and it's like Boy Scouts, but in the water, um, on boats and shit like that. So, anyway, I was, I was staying with my friend in a tent, because it was, it was two to a tent. So, I was with my friend in a tent, and honestly, I had both a amazing and a terrible experience. So we were two to a tent. It was myself and my friend. And my friend obviously is in my crew because you only tent with people in your crew. And we were next to, like, we were neighbors to a Maryland crew and a Canada crew. So it was, like, Canada, Maryland, us. I think there was an Alaska crew somewhere, like, in our area, in our, like, base also. And so we stayed there for the, I think we stayed for five nights. Five nights, yeah. So we stayed in these tents for five nights. And then these teeny little, um blue tents that are outside, obviously, because why else would you be in a tent? And, um, so the thing about this place is it would constantly shift from, like, freezing cold to blazing hot, because we were in the mountains, so that's how it was. Uh, we were in West Virginia, we were in the mountains, it was bananas. So there's, like, fog and shit, and it's cold, and then it's hot, so at one point we'll be, like, sweating balls, and then at night we're, like, shivering our asses off, so that's kind of what that was like. So I prepared, and we left our, our clothes out in our duffel bag, and we organized it, obviously, because you gotta stay organized, a scout is organized, a scout is prepared, Ugh. so it was, like, warm clothes here, my sweatshirts here, um, my pajamas here, my light pajamas here, and then it was, like, my, my, um, my nylons here, and, like, my, uh, spandex and whatnot, because, you know, you gotta, like, cotton kills, you don't wear cotton at a scout camp, so I had all my, like, nylons and my spandex, and then panties. It was my panties and my bras. Yeah. So, uh, thankfully, I didn't bring any of my really, really fancy stuff because that'd be dumb because we were at a scout camp, but, um, I had a lack of, like, athletic underwear, per se, so I, I brought my, um, I didn't bring anything, like, lacy, obviously. I didn't bring any, well, like, my real, like, sexy time stuff, but, like, I, I ran out of, like, athletic underwear, so I had, like, three pairs of athletic underwear, and then I brought, like, my pink Victoria's Secret stuff, like, three pairs of my Victoria's Secret stuff, because you gotta have extra underwear! And it's not like I brought panties up the wazoo, like, $500 worth of panties, but, um, you know, you gotta, you gotta have something to protect your crotchular areas, especially because you might get your period, and then if you get your period and your panties are all bloody, then whoops, that would suck for you if you only had those pairs of underwear. Anywho, so I organized my underwear, organized my bras, I brought only sports bras because I'm not an idiot and I'm not one of those, like, there were, okay, kind of off topic, there were girls in Venture Crews who had clearly never been camping before, like, they, their whole crew was just wearing, like, blue skinny jeans and, like, cowgirl boots and, like, beanies and, like, cotton t-shirts and tank tops, and it's just like, what the, who are you trying to impress? And they put on their makeup in the mirrors every morning, which was annoying as <laughs> hell for me, because I just wanted to brush my damn teeth, and they were taking up the tra, the, the, the trowel, which was, like, it's so, our sink is, like, just a big trowel, and it was like, why are you doing this to me? Why have you forsaken me and it's like and, and they would wear their like you know you could see the outline of their 
bra, like, they're not sports bra, but they're normal bra, like, that'd be so uncomfortable, like, who the hell wants to rock climb and, like, mountain climb and hike in, like, a regular ass bra? Anyway, back to what I was saying. So, I, um, my, so, we leave as a crew to go do stuff, and we can kind of do whatever we want, because it's, like, it's not, like, an organized thing, like, we weren't there for the high adventure program, so we were there, um, just to do, like, Summit Base, uh, because that's what Venture Fest was, so we were at Summit Base, when then, um, you know, I, we were wearing regular stuff, like, I was wearing a pair of athletic shorts, spandex, like, uh, and a spandex shirt, you know, because you sweat a lot. So then we went to, like, rock climb and swim and all that shebangs, and, uh, we came back to our tent, and, uh, I didn't think anything was wrong. I didn't really notice that my underwear was gone, um, and this was, this was the last day of camp. So this was, like, the last day of Venturing Fest, and I didn't really, so I wasn't really, like, you know, keeping count of my stuff because I had like my dirty stuff over here and my clean stuff over here and I'm not a particularly organized person so while all my stuff was organized at the beginning is now like all up at the, in the tent like up the wazoo all over the place it's just it was kind of bananas and hectic and um my uh tent mate is like this hyper organized person so it drives them nuts when they tent with me but we're like best friends so whatever incorrect incorrect so um what something I did bring was I brought my favorite pair of panties, which is like, why would you bring that on a Boy Scout trip, Lila? Well, it's because they are super, super damn comfortable. I brought my um pink hipster ones, which if you know what those are, it's like a little bit like boy shorts, but kind of shorter. And I was just like, these are super comfy and I can move around in them. So I brought one pair and I didn't notice anything until the next day when we had to pack all our shit together and get ready to hit the road. It was just like these some of these guys were like real thirsty like I was about to throw some water in their face but in general scout guys are really nice but there were a couple guys who were hella thirsty and you're talking about raiding their dressers for their underpants right so the next day we're packing up and I'm like oh I got my got my spandex got my jeans got my class a got my patches got my pan oh my god where are my panties so I noticed that I had been missing several pairs of my panties. I had, I like, I think I brought like seven pairs and uh, I lost, um, like I didn't lose. I had three pairs or four pairs missing and I was like, Stephanie, my panties are missing. Are they in your bag? No, actually my panties are missing and I was just about to ask you the same thing. No bueno. So what had happened was one of these guys had broken into our tent and we could tell that our tent was broken in. But we were just exhausted so we didn't really care. We could tell our tent was broken in because the freaking door was left open and both of us are very like picky about closing our door. Like I have this thing about open doors and she has this thing about open doors. And we noticed that like we remembered we were like well when we came back last night our door was open so i don't know if it was like a dare or something but some guy broke into our tent and stole several pairs of our panties including my favorite pair from pink so that really sucks anyway there's some scout some some cheeky boy scout somewhere who's immensely satisfied with himself and they never got caught and we never did recover our panties our undergarments so there you go. That's my story. I got panty raided. My friend got panty raided. Nobody else in the entire camp was missing any of their panties. We just drew the short straw and got our panties stolen. So now I'm, I had to go out and buy more, which was okay, because I love shopping for lingerie, but ah, I don't even know why they would want those pairs of panties, because like they're probably sweaty and nasty town, and we've been outside got probably like got all that crotch sweat in there you, you never know you know and like I'm a very cleanly person but when you're outside in the mountains all day for several days I mean I mean and we still took showers because they had showers but they were like really cold gross pathetic excuses 
per shower. Anyway, so I don't, that's their problem, I guess. I'm sure that they're, they don't mind. I mean, I don't really think guys care, but congratulations on your trophy. That okay, is all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas. That is my story for today. Goodbye.